Here's my first tip for the zombie apocalypse. Don't eat your pets. Not yet, not right away, anyway. Wait, wait a couple months. <laughs> wait, wait a while. Hey everyone, it's Dr. Mike, the Bowtie Vet Guy. Happy Halloween. Today we're going to talk about something a little different. We're gonna talk about all those things we tell you never to do, ever. Except in the zombie apocalypse. Well, one of the things that came up was treating wounds with honey or sugar. It is antibacterial and it will help wounds close fast. Kind of use any honey. There are honeys that are uh, medical grade honeys, but you know, if it's a zombie apocalypse, you use what you gotta use, you know? You just find some honey, and if there's an open wound, you can slather that on, the, on it, then cover it up, obviously. You wanna keep it covered. And then every day you need to rinse that honey off, um, get off any dead tissue that's on there, and then put a new one on every day. Sugar, you just take the sugar, put it on as like a paste, change it every day. It loses the efficacy after about a day. Another thing that can go on wounds to just sort of protect that meaty granulation tissue that's the good healing tissue is plain old petroleum jelly. Forms a nice barrier. Again, you want to check it every day, make sure it's getting clean and it's not getting putrid and there aren't any little critters growing in it, which can happen when you're in a zombie apocalypse. We talked about hydrogen peroxide. Yeah, do not put that on wounds. Bad, bad, bad. You know what you can use it for though? Inducing vomiting. Let's say your dog eats something horrible, like, I don't know, the dead flesh of a zombie, and you wanna get that out of there. Well, a few tablespoons of hydrogen peroxide will induce vomiting in most animals. Super careful, and don't ever do this at home, because, you know, we have better things at the vet to make them vomit, and we know what we're doing, and we have stuff to make sure they're safe. But if you have to get something up, you can do that. Only a few tablespoons of the dilute stuff. Give it orally, that'll induce vomiting in most dogs. Now, when don't you use it? If they've eaten something caustic, if they've eaten a bone, like the bone of a zombie, you don't want to use that because that'll do more damage coming up. So they'll end up like this. Do not induce vomiting as well in any of the smushy face dogs, any of those brachiosphalc dogs, because they are really prone to just aspirating that back into their lungs, causing major problems. You run around, you get into the local pharmacy, and what do you find there? Oh yeah, let's, let's pick up some of these things and some of these things. That'd be great for your, no, no. Don't give these to your dog or cat. This will kill your cat, one of these, and not in a good way. Here's a little trick that we do. Let's say you have put a bandage on and your dog or cat just keeps licking at it and licking at it and licking at it and there's, ah, it's, you wanna stop it, you're making it worse. Find these, people aren't gonna be using a lot of deodorant, so there'll be plenty around. Rub it on there, tastes terrible, they won't lick at it. We use this trick all the time. Pepto-Bismol can be hard on dogs. It can be, uh, there are salicylates in it that can be damaging to the liver or kidneys when they're metabolized. So what can you use for a dog that has diarrhea? Kaopectate. Go in there and find that. People are gonna leave the kaopectate because they're gonna go in there and be like, I'm gonna take all of the really good medicines and I'm gonna leave the over-the-counter stuff. No, go right to the over-the-counter stuff. It keeps longer, treats more broad things. Dogs that are out and about and cats that are out and about will often get itchy. They can get allergies, they can get all sorts of things. One thing that's great for itchy animals, and this goes across the board, oatmeal. This is a little aloe and oatmeal shampoo, but let's say all the pet stores have been ravaged. There's no oatmeal aloe shampoo and your dog is miserable itchy because it's got a rash. You can just use regular old oatmeal, grind it into a fine powder, make a paste, Rub it on the skin, wherever that rash is. Helps you, helps your dog. There's an old trick we use for dogs that have gotten skunked. But something that works to take the smell out is a concoction that uses, again, our friend hydrogen peroxide, a little Dawn dishwashing soap, 
Yeah, Dawn works better. I don't know why. Rub that all over your dog or your cat. It will get out that skunk smell. So I think it will probably get out that zombie smell too. Keeping your dogs and cats hydrated. We use this stuff as, as, bela as it's like a milk replacer. Ensure Pedialyte, all of those sort of electrolyte replacers, they work great for your pets too. So in the zombie apocalypse, when you can't get into us so we can give them the good stuff, give it a try. Might work, might not, probably will work. You can actually teach your dog to be quiet on command. Yeah, you teach them how to woof and shush. Pretty easy to do. You just get them to bark on command and you bark, yay! And then you, you don't have to reward that because they're gonna do it just because it's fun. Yeah, you're barking and then you go quiet and you put a treat right on their nose. Yeah, they can't sniff and bark at the same time. So as soon as they're quiet, you say good dog and you give the treat. And then pretty soon they learn like, oh, I bark and then you go Shh, quiet and they get it. So works really well. I taught my dog to be quiet on thank you. So when somebody would come to the door, knock, 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 the dog goes, burr, 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 and I'd say, thank you. And she would come running up to me, be quiet and look at it, and I'd go, good dog, there's your treat. And that was fine. And she stopped barking. Works really well. Remember, those are things only to do during the zombie apocalypse. No other time. Right? <laughs> right. And seriously, what are the chances, right, that a zombie apocalypse is ever going to happen anyway? It's never. Opal!